Hi, everybody. Hope you're having a good night out there here on Sunday night. Um, might be Monday morning by the time this gets out, but I really did want to do a quick video today on the Huggy Snug and Dry, and these are in a size 6, and that's for 35 pounds and over. And this is a bag of 62 diapers. Um, this is the Huggy Snug and Dry line, and it actually came in a one-month supply box of uh, double this. So, oh man, I'm bad at math, but I think 124. Um, so I can show you both bags in a second here. And then we can do a little bit of a product tour here on the bag. Uh, it just came in plain packaging. It wasn't in like a box like you'd see at the store because it came from Amazon, but they do package them in... Um, branded labeled bags which a lot of the packages that you can see in stores don't do that so kind of an interesting thing there um yeah so we'll do a brief little product tour here on the top on the um on the front of the bag and then the back and the sides and then i will show you the diapers themselves and do a quick little tour of those um there's only one design but as you'll see it's pretty cute and um I think overall this is a good uh, good diaper from Huggy, so we'll get we'll get into it here, and uh, then we'll get you on your way. All right. So right away you see some of the features here of the Huggy Snug and Dry, and um, of course you have the little product tour here with their claim of absorption in seconds, unbeatable protection, um, of course the absorbent technology, the contoured shape, wetness indicator, and then up to twelve hours of uh, protection for day or night. And then, of course, you're going to have here, it's free of fragrances, parabens, elemental chlorine, or natural rubber latex. So um, you see, obviously, it has the, it shows you the design here with Mickey Mouse. You see the wetness indicator there on the front. And then you see that their unbeatable protection claim is based on uh, value brand. So they're not necessarily making that claim against other Huggies or even like Pampers. They're making it up against store brands so that's kind of an interesting thing always do your research always look at the fine print um you turn it over here on the side you kind of have your your basic copyright information your safety information you have the front of the bag there like i showed and then here on the sides you have uh, a little comparison between the different kinds of huggies so you have the snug and dry the little movers and the special delivery i thought it was kind of interesting when i got this bag how they're basically doing advertising for their other more expensive brands, their other sub brands, like in the packaging for the Snug and Dry. Because it basically sells short the Snug and Dry a little bit by just saying it has unbeatable leakage percent, uh, protection and that it's fragrance and chlorine and free, but it doesn't have the outstanding fit and comfort or the softest ever for ultimate skin comfort. So the two things that are kind of more premium in their other two products are not in the Snug and Dry. So I think they kind of try to upsell you. They say, you know, these are good, but if you want more, we also can give you that. So I think it's interesting that they do that. Um, but yeah, so here are the packages. Again, I got this on Amazon. Um, and it was a pack of 124, so it came in a box with these two bags. I do like the larger bags. I think that's kind of a cool thing to have a, a larger 62-count uh, bag that's actually still a branded bag and isn't just a, a see-through clear bag. I think it's uh, a cool thing. And, you know, if you want to split them, I think I've said this in previous videos, but you can split a bag, put one away, or, you know, take one to daycare or something like that. I think that's something that um, is really easy because it's just – grab and go 62 62 so that's kind of a cool thing that these have um but yeah so we'll get into the prints and uh show you the stretch and stuff like that and then we'll send you on your way just a quick one tonight but uh, i did want to do a little unboxing here so um stay tuned and we'll get that going so one of the things you see right away with the snug and dry is that they have this all over adorable mickey mouse print um just kind of you know the same print on both diapers but it is like you said a little bit of uh, huggies value brand so it's not the super uh maybe you know um vibrant kind of print that tells a story like you might see on you know some of the other um huggies or like with the winnie the pooh designs they've had in the past it's a pretty straight up design but it has the wetness indicator there on the front and then that continues on to the back and it has the Huggy Snug and Dry tag and the size 6 size indicator. 
Um, I think one of the things that I've noticed with Huggies, all their products tend to indicate which product it is. I've always wondered exactly why they do that, but if you get a Little Movers, it will say Huggies Little Movers. If you get a um, Overnights, it will say Overnights. If you get the Snug and Dry, it says Snug and Dry. If you get the Slip-Ons, it says Slip-Ons. If you get Pull-Ups, it says Pull-Ups. So I think that's kind of an interesting thing. I think the one... Um, exemption to that rule is is the good nights don't say good nights on them but um I, I do think it's funny that it says so prominently snug and dry as if you're not holding the diaper you know what it is but i'm curious that they why they do that I'd, I'd like to know but um i i don't mind it i think it's kind of a cute branding there and then opening it up you see you have like this blue absorption zone um which is part of their patented kind of um Fast absorption is one of the things that they're really big on is that it's going to absorb in seconds, and uh, this blue core there is kind of that super absorbent material. Um, you have the, the really flexible tape uh, flaps here. Obviously, the stretch is not quite what it would be for um, their more premium products, but it does have like these really sturdy and refastable tapes. Um, and then it has the leg gathers here, which are pretty good as well. Um, I think in terms of the actual construction of the diaper, it's probably pretty similar to Little Movers. I think Little Movers might have a little bit more um, flexibility and just kind of a little more of an all-over fit, whereas these are a little more rigid and a little uh, just kind of formulaic and not really as contoured. Um, but I think they get the job done. I really think they do. And I think they absorb pretty well. I wouldn't say that they absorb as well as Little Movers either, which I think is kind of interesting given the claim of the absorption within seconds. Um, I think they tend to kind of pull the liquid here uh, towards the leg gathers in a way that the Little Movers kind of is able to distribute the wetness a lot faster than these. So I think it's kind of interesting that the hallmark of these is absorption in seconds because to me it's not quite as good but it, it still does absorb i mean it's still a leak leakless kind of environment which is what you want um with the diaper of course so nothing to really complain about there but i do think it's interesting that they make that claim on these and not necessarily on the little movers but to each his own when it comes to uh you know the the marketing taglines and stuff like that so yeah these are the the snug and dry i don't need to pull out a second design because they're all kind of the same um but you do see like they're red trimmed here uh kind of have that little waistband there with Mickey, like the tape landing zones. Um, I don't really think there's all that much more to add, but I would say that as we've seen the different iterations of these, uh, I really do like that they're kind of going with the red um, kind of Mickey designs here. And uh, it seems like these, even compared to a couple years ago, are a little bit sturdier, a little bit more flexible diapers um, than maybe the ones that were from 2015, 16, kind of maybe the last time I picked up a pack of these. So I'd say they're moving in the right direction. Um, and they're certainly a little bit cheaper than the little movers or the special delivery or, um, you know, a more premium brand. So I think they're a good option. And obviously they're a name brand. They're trusted. Um, it's not the same thing as like a Walmart, uh, parent's choice or like a family dollar brand. They are still giving you that Huggies performance for a little bit cheaper. So definitely something to check out. Um, once again, the Huggies Snug and Dry. So that's really it for this quick little video. But uh, again, I'm going to try to be back with more videos, more unboxings, more reviews, more of my thoughts. Um, try to unbag some new fun stuff. I just ordered um, some Huggies uh, slip-ons, which are now discontinued, but I wanted to add those to my collection now that they are out of stock and uh, are no longer manufactured, so I wanted to add some of those to my collection. So going to do a video on those as soon as I get those. Um, and there might be some more fun stuff down the pipe, some pull-ups, some uh, other store brand training pants, things like that. You know I'm always on the lookout for things that I can do videos for. So if you have any ideas uh, for future videos, please let me know in the comments. Thank you again for liking and subscribing. And hopefully I can get to 800 subscribers and get on that road to 1,000 because that's the goal. And I uh, really do appreciate all your help. All right. Thank you. Have a great night.